All right, welcome back, guys. Let's keep going. In this episode, we will start uh, doing the form in the form page. If you're following up with the Git repo, then you can find um, a commit that says the start of episode three. So just check that out and you'll be exactly where I am right now. All right, so right now we don't really have anything pointed out at form because there is no um, form file here. So I'm going to create one form.js and this would be carrying up uh, the form that we will have and I will not do anything now yeah just save it as it is let me run the server real quick npm run dev close this up okay okay so I'm going to start uh, really really slow I will just show you some of the components of course you need you need to spend more time in the documentation to understand more but let's just create an extremely simple form here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make a form yep a form very simple can you please bring that out here sure and then uh, the action in that form yes would be submit for now just very simple okay now inside that form i'm gonna put input which is gonna uh, bring it in from Chakra UI. So I'm just gonna put an input here. And in that input, actually, this, I'm not gonna do anything. Just Let's just put one input. Let's just put one, two, three, and four inputs. Let's just imagine this as um, a sign-up page that will have four inputs in it. One for the first name, last name, email, and password. So if I save this now, I'm just using the input from uh, Chakra UI core, and you can see all the inputs here. So this is very, very basic, just an input field. Now, I would like to introduce something here that's really, really cool, which is the stack. So the stack component is really handy because you can see now that these inputs are like on top of one another with zero distance between them. But you could use the stack component from Chakra UI. So if I wrap these guys in something called stack, and let me import that manually real quick sadly yes i'm gonna import stack and if i save this nothing really changes but this stack component can actually take a couple of uh, a couple of props so i can give it spacing and in this case i'm gonna put uh, say two now two means eight pixels and i will show you where this is coming from and four means uh 16 pixels and if you go to the chakra ui website under the theme you can see here that it's telling you that the mental model says that if you need spacing of 40 pixels you divide it by four that will give you 10 and then use that in your component so they have made this um, kind of scale in which every one is four pixels so two is eight pixels and so on so four equals one rem so you can use that as a mental model. So if I need, and that applies to anything actually. So if I need spacing between these stacked up components to be 16 pixels as it is right now, so I put four. If I need 12 pixels, so I put three and so on. This is extremely simple. In fact, there's a little bit more to that stack up, that stack component. So I can put is inline prop. And in that case, it will just stack it up uh, horizontally. So basically, this is just um, a flex component, but it's much easier to work with it. You don't really have to do all the justify and align things with uh, the prop, and you can also specify the spacing. All right, good. Now, this input really looks horrible, so let's just... So what I will do is I will uh, put something here called input, input left element, so let's try both. Let's try input left element and input left add-on. So let's try with the input left add-on. And inside this left add-on, I am going to tell, okay, this guy will have children and the children here are going to be an icon. And this is going to bring it up again from Chakra UI. And this icon component will take a name. So let's just give it a name of info. And again, everything is strongly typed. You can see all the values that you can pass to it. It's just called an icon called info. If I save this, what will happen now is that this looks really bad because now this in le input left add-on component is actually part of the stack. So it's put just as another input, which we don't really want. So what I will do to fix this is I'm going to wrap these two components in input input group. So if I wrap these in input group and then sadly I need to import that manually input group yep input group if i save this now you can see in the render uh yes in the render now this is the left add-on on the left hand side if i change this to 
element input left element i hope it imports beautiful so if i change this to element again it's just an element without really some spacing there okay that is good so you can see how easy it is just to work out a couple of things that will take you longer time to do but here you can just have an input left element and input left add-on now let's add a bit more details to these uh, inputs so what i'll do here is i will add this type to be equal to uh, name so the type here is name and i will put a placeholder here equals uh, first name oopsie first first name all right and i'll give this an area label area area dash label area dash label of uh, f name oopsie no first first name so that already takes care of the accessibility for us so if i save this again i'm getting first name over there and it's all good now uh, i will also add a button to all that stack so i will just uh, add a button here so that button right there will call would be called sign up simple stuff and i will give that button a type of submit a type of submit okay so far so good now that button will show up there and the button has so many things that you can change with it but uh, so for example you can add a variant to that button and it's going to be a ghost a link an outline and so on so if i give it a ghost so if you save that it's going to give it just like uh it's as if it's not there it's just like text uh if i give it solid which is what i want really that will show it up like that and also you can change the variant color so i can give this variant color of red that will get, make it red like that and again all of this is actually dark mode compatible out of the box absolutely no customization needed which is really really handy so i'm going to leave this as it is to be honest uh, just the standard will do for me now one thing i want to do here is the fact that if i uh, submit here nothing really happens because i have no actions uh, to it but i don't want users to submit when this is empty so to control what is required what is disabled and so on i need to wrap all of this in another component called form control okay so now i've imported form control and i wrapped everything in there what i'll do here is i will pass to the form control that this is so let's just try is disabled so if i make this input group disabled so now i can't really click it click it because it's disabled so what i will do here is i will do this is required so this is required so you can't really submit without uh, putting this so please fill in this field uh, okay that is good now what i will do is i will actually delete all of these bye bye and i will copy that twice and this second one i'll leave it as info and here the type is also name but the placeholder here will be last name and the aria label will also be last name and i save that and i get another one last name okay good now i want to add one uh, two more inputs one for uh, email and one for password because this is a sign up form uh, but before i do that i want to visually uh, divide these uh, two um, halves of the sign up form so there is the first name last name and then there is the email and password so for to do that i'm just going to import a divider and again everything works out of the box so the divider will be just there with the proper uh, margins to it and then i'm going to paste this again and this second one will be type of email and i will change the icon to email very simple and the placeholder here is going to be email and the aria label is also email okay so now you can see this slight um kind of separation between the names and the email and password fields so i'm going to put another one and this one would be a password field and this icon will be lock icon and the last thing here is the placeholder will be called pa pa password <laughs> password and the aria label will be also called pass word okay you save all of that and we are good to go so now if i do this this and i try to sign up this is not uh, this is not sub, um, completed and because it already knows that this is an email type of field so it will tell you that you need to complete this properly by having the at and so on in it and the password also everything else works so yeah so this is basically how to do this like really really super um super simple form in chakra ui 
Another thing also I want to show you is something called the a component called the form helper text. So a form helper text is just a text that will go down there. So just let's just put something here called we we will never share your email. And then let's put a break here. Yep, actually this is not how to put a break. This is embarrassing. Let's put a break here. <laughs> and let's just um include yes i just include a finger crossed emoji if i save this you can see this um, just a very simple styled uh, text that goes in there and i want this to be aligned so i'm just going to text align all of this to be center yep that will work and so far so good and again as i said before everything is already dark mode compatible okay now uh, Last thing I want to show you before we wrap this up and go into the next video is that I can do a couple of things to this button to make it a little bit more kind of like stand up. Right now, everything is super flat and I don't like this. So what I will do here is I will give this guy a box shadow of uh, small. All right. And what is really surprising for me to realize that you can also access sudo CSS from the same props. So I can do this. I can do hover equals. Uh, when you hover over it, I want to give the box shadow to be medium. So if I hover over this now, the, 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 um, the button kind of like elevates a little bit. And in fact, I'm going to take this a little, another step further. I'm going to say if it's active, I'm going to give it a box shadow of flourish sorry this is column of flourish so now this button only not only it like kind of like elevates a little bit when you hover over it but when you press it it kind of like it gives you this uh, visual feedback that you have already clicked it okay this is so far so good and again everything is accessible out of the box i can scroll through this website using uh, the tap and the space and enter uh, buttons from my keyboard and i'm scrolling through the whole thing as it is and i can everything is also dark mode accessible and everything works just out of the box that is it for this video in the next video we will uh look at having a background for this using the box component that we used before and that'll be fun too i'll see you guys in the next one